Welcome to my YouTube channel. I assure you that you have made a right choice by investing your time in this video. Hello everyone. First, I want to tell you that this video is not like any other videos that you may have come across regarding preparation for CISSP exam. So before we start, there is a well-known Tibetan proverb, empty your cup. So I want you to forget everything that you have read and watched about all other videos regarding CISV exam till the end of this video. Then after you can choose either to retain or discard things that, I've, that I have said. There are some points that you need to understand here. First, don't get into hype thinking that CISSV is difficult. The key thing here is to have a right mindset. This is not a technical exam like many people believe. For example, some people will say that uh, in, in the exam they got more cloud or biometric related question. So it doesn't mean that you immediately to search all the materials regarding cloud question or biometrics or studying them. You have to understand that CISSP is a computer adaptive test. If someone says that they are getting more cloud questions, it means that they must have answered a couple of them wrong. Also the word of caution is there are a lot of snake oil sellers. Okay? So usually they are in the forms of different kinds of we uh, websites which offer you practice test for free. And these question and the questions in these practice tests are very technical and difficult. And they are designed to overwhelm you so that you become fearful and buy their products. Don't refer to lot of resources. Refer to the right resources. I mean there are so many resources for CISSP exam. Running behind each and every of them will exhaust your money, time and mental capacity. I will give you the list of resources in this video which will be enough for you to pass this exam. Remember, CISSP is not the ultimate certification. It is one of the certifications that you gain in cybersecurity area. It will broaden your mind, but it will not make you the ultimate cybersecurity expert. There is a long way ahead, so don't sweat. Let's start with common knowledge. CISSP is about having the right mindset. It wants you to be a risk advisor or risk manager. So who is an excellent manager? In a single sentence, the manager who makes a cost-effective decision is a good manager. He or she has to analyze both cost and benefit. If the benefit is higher than the cost, then you can approve that alternative. This is the very simple concept. Exam question may include a lot, a lot of technical mumbo and jumbo. But try to understand the core of the question. That, that may be whether you will implement this solution or not. Therefore. What you need to do here is a simple cost benefit analysis. What is my cost in terms of time, human resources, technical complexity and how much benefit I'll, uh, will I get from that. So you need to analyze these both aspects. Resources. As Kelly Handerhan has rightly put, how much security is enough, just enough. In the similar manner, how much resources is enough, just enough. If you ask me, best resources are the official study guide, Son Harris AIO, Boson exam environment, official practice test, Larry Greenbald and Kelly Handerhan videos, Eric Conrad 11th hour and Sunflower study note. I'd like to share you one important tip. While watching training videos, always watch the videos from the official instructor of IOC Square or renowned cybersecurity expert. This will save your time and money. These instructors know all uh, overall structure of CISSP very well and how CISSP domains are interconnected. They will provide you with the tips that are helpful in the exam. My favorite one is Larry Greenbald. He, dr he really drills into the meat of CISSP. His explanations are an eye opener. After I watched his videos, I ha I began to see CISSP as a stepping stone for my cybersecurity career rather than just a degree.
about the practice test people have claimed that they have practiced more than 5000 questions to pass this exam one thing to understand here is that practicing a lot of question doesn't make you perfect this is true for other certification exams also so focus on learning concepts rather than practicing questions if i teach you how to catch a fish in a river you will catch the fish in any river of course each river is different and some minor changes has to be made in the technique but the core method will always remain same that is you will cast your fishing line by pulling back and throwing the hook forward if you ask me official practice test and boson is enough for you if you are using boson then try to configure boson so that you can test yourself domain wise this will help you to evaluate which domain is strongest or weakest say if you are scoring 80% in some domain then uh, then that means that you have probably understood understood that domain but let's say if you are scoring below passing marks then you may need to revisit that domain and talking about uh, youtube videos and websites i don't like to single them out any videos and articles that uh, helps to clarify the concepts is good and there are so many so go figure out yourself some claim that they have passed ciassp in 2 weeks some say th they did it in 3 weeks truth be told people pass ciassp in 3 hours or less than that but the time it took for that person to prepare for the ciassp may range from month to years so don't fall for that people come from different backgrounds therefore the preparation times depends upon their educational background and as well as their technical experience did i talk about ciassp being hard it is not that difficult if you ask me i found it very easy right from the beginning yes there were complicated technical questions some i didn't understand as a matter of fact i completely ignored those sentences but i knew what the question was expecting for few questions i didn't review all the answers i just glance at them and the right answer just jumped out to me now you may be wondering either this guy is faking or exaggerating see i am not doing both i was able to do so because i had the right mindset every certification has a certain objective it wants to increase your specialization in a particular area if you have done sisa a uh, certified information system auditor uh, certification course then sisa aims to make you a competent it auditor for ciassp its aim is to make you a competent information security manager or consultant when you are a information security manager you don't need to know all the details of course you have to have a general idea of some technical terms uh, say the difference between dns and dscp but you don't need to know how dns servers should be configured you are a decision making person your junior will not come to you with problems like this router is not working they will come up with uh, issues like uh, the entire network has slowed down and we couldn't diagnose the problem what should we do questions are adaptive so if someone says that they were receiving complicated networking questions one after another it means that they must have answered the first couple of questions wrong the ciassp exam is not focused on a particular technology i want to give you some words of caution here don't go on buying resources for ciassp exam blindly don't be gullible you will waste your time and money always research before purchasing when looking at people uh, other people's success stories you may be curious about what resources they have referred to but you need to do some research here if 20 people are saying the positive thing about certain book or website then it might be worth looking into it but anything out of blue can be just a snake oil let's talk about how to answer the questions see there are no two opinions about this you need to understand the question before you answer a genie will not grant you your three wishes until you tell him what your wishes are you are a genie in this exam and ciassp exam is your master 
If your master wants his three wishes to fix his nose, then just fix his nose all the three times. It is not your duty to tell him that beauty lies within. Otherwise, he will throw you in the deep ocean. Having said that, there is a trick for a long scenario question. Again, it is not guaranteed that you will get the scenario question. But if you do, always start with the last sentence which is the ultimate question. Then read the answers. You will have a rough idea about what the question is asking. In this way, you can eliminate two out of four multiple choice answers. Again, reread the question and voila, there is your answer. I am giving you some guidelines regarding which answer might be the correct one. Again, mind it, these are only the guidelines. You can try this while doing CISSV practice test. Tip number one, look, at, look for the answers that summarizes other answers. Like answer with the risk management concept that summarizes all other answers of handling risk. Tip 2. Look for the answer that is more specific than others. Solaris server versus Solaris server with the Unix operating system. 3. The answer which asks you to make some kind of system or policy is the right one rather than one which asks you to act immediately. I will configure the firewall versus I will make some kind of security policy is the right one. Note that CISSP is not a leap of faith. You need to see where you are jumping. 4. When an answer includes something about risk management, it is usually the right answer. And always remember, human safety is the topmost priority. 5. If some answer seems to be out of blue, then it may not be correct answer. But the another flip of coin is that if all the three answers are related, but while another stands out, then probably this one is the right answer. Again, these guidelines are not your magic pills. You need to try them to see if it works or not. Let me know what was your experience in the comment section below. We have come to the end of this video. I have put the link of full article on preparing CISSP exam in the description section below. If you have found this video useful, then you will definitely find this article also useful. Further, Suri Consultancy has developed these excellent apps that you may want to download. These, app, these apps have tons of features that you may find beneficial while preparing for this exam. The links to Play Store are given in the description section of this video. Best of luck with your exam. If you have any query, please join our Facebook community of risk management professionals. The link is also given in the description section below. Finally, the word from our sponsor. If you are in need of cybersecurity services, please contact Siori Consultancy. They have experts in cybersecurity areas who are willing to provide you with any services in the cybersecurity field. Namaskar, tapai haru ko din ya raat subha rahos. Let me translate. Namaskar, have a nice day or a good night. And don't forget to subscribe.